Active surveillance is a, is a management uh, for low-risk prostate cancer. So this is for men who have been diagnosed with low-risk disease, so in, in, in doctor's terms, Gleason 6, so low-grade, PSAs that are low, you don't think has a lot of disease when we do biopsies. Those men, at least in our experience at Sunnybrook, are very unlikely to progress and have disease problems in the future. So we, since their mid-90s, we've been following men, first on a research protocol, now it's become the standard of care around the world in watching these men. But it really is watching. There's a, the whole concept of watch for waiting. That's an old bygone area. That means you're not gonna do anything. You're gonna wait till the guy has problems. Whereas active surveillance is rigorously watching PSAs, repeating a biopsy every year or three years, depending on what the person's PSA is. In the modern era, again, this is not historical, we do MRIs on men to get any signs the disease in fact is progressing. And in our experience, one out of three men will eventually reach one of those triggers, either the PSA is going up too much or the biopsy shows a change in the grade of the disease or how much disease is there, and then we treat those men. And it's become a very successful way to manage men with low risk disease, because that means two out of three men never get treated, because they don't need it, because they, go off into the sunset and they never have a problem, or the reality is a lot of men are diagnosed with the disease and then they have other medical problems that trump the prostate cancer before it's ever an issue.